All right, yo, I'm too excited for this video. We, we got it on the laptop. We're about to hit Wait, what just happened? Oh my goodness. I played a different video. God damn it. All right, we're just, we're just hopping right into it. We gotta hit play. Yo, holy sh You guys see this intro shot? This thing looks like Spider-Man versus Doctor Strange. We got the mirror world going on. We got this red and blue color scheme. Already, we're in for a f***ing treat. Oh my f***ing gosh, yo. Yo. What the f***? Oh my goodness. Yo, okay, I gotta hit pause on this because we are at 10 seconds into this video. I gotta say, we got some Gen Z pacing going on. This thing is just cutting every few seconds no every second like we got 13 cuts probably in the first 13 seconds oh my goodness my lips are fucking salivating Ugh, holy shit. that's right 10 seconds in all these scenes hitting like bah, bah, bah. <laughs> yo okay i gotta say already that little uh tire spin right there with the dust coming off of it nice use of after effects there yo and then we got these 3d elements mixed in with these 2d elements just i gotta say some of this doesn't look like it's fully composited on but at least it's motion tracked which just gives them that much more dynamic movements and makes it looks like it's still a part of the scene even if the colors are all over the place and hey it wouldn't be a k-pop music video if it didn't have some 2d scribble animations for dance moves if you guys want to learn how to make your own check out this video that we got on the channel mad props bong jay yope for just killing another music video if you guys don't know who he is he's just one of the dopest music video directors coming out of south korea right now and this is probably the reason why i think most korean music videos are just like on a whole nother level from american music videos and super sick and the next character reveal with the f***ing, oh, with the f***ing cake dude where does he come up with these ideas and then just super subtle the color schemes are on point because if you guys can tell look at this we got blue gloves and a yellow shirt and some blue jeans and that's just adding such a dope ass contrast to make the scene really pop not only that but we're inside of some sort of alleyway all of a sudden and we got all these characters just perfectly blocked out where they're walking together oh my goodness and then the camera dude super dope ass tracking over to the right to a whole nother scene where we're in the diner Yo, bro, did you fucking see that? Oh my goodness. So fucking dope. Oh my god, yo. Holy shit. Okay, okay. Dude, another match cut because why not? We can just make it day to night instantly like that. And also, yo, yo, yo. Okay, I, I feel like some people are gonna miss that scene because that shit happened super quick. I don't know if you saw that. Take a look at this, right? We're in the diner scene. We got these guys dancing. And then bam, you got a train just swooping in in the background there, like behind the windows. And then that perfectly transitions to the next set that we have in which they're on a subway train all of a sudden. <laughs> Yo, take a look at that subtle ass maniac branding right there. Nice touch, dude. Super nice touch. Bro, and then check this out. So we got right here the wipe transition where it's perfectly matched with the character covering up the front element. Oh my goodness, this is super sick. Already the amount of dope video editing techniques techniques and the directing on this is so on point. Oh my goodness! Whoo! And more 2D elements inside of this perfectly lit subway scene. Yo, I don't know if you guys saw the KDA League of Legends music video, but this is giving me some KDA League of Legends vibes right now. Dude, this is super sick. Yo, and then the perfect use of these zoom ins and zoom outs where we get this like kind of parallax feeling with the background. <laughs> Yo, okay, another set change, another costume change, and then some more super dope ass camera work to where it's just pushing in and pulling out. It's as if the camera right now is its own energetic movement element in its own. And this is something that Bong Jae Yook is known for doing really, really well. It just makes every single scene hit that much more. Look at these dance moves where Bam, it's not like they're just hitting a dance move. It's also affecting the camera movement, which in turn is affecting the entire visual feel that we got. This is some next level video directing that I wanna see more American directors do. And for some reason, I don't know why they just get lazy and instead decide to put them in just some sort of sexualized outfits all the time. So yeah, I, I don't know, that, that's just my take on it. Yo, okay, and holy sh oh, wait, 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 yo, you guys, did you freaking see that? Oh my God, yo, going back, we gotta play that scene again. We got him turning into Doctor Strange soul leaving his body with the camera movement too. But yeah, this is something that's only possible whenever you got a motorized camera rig so you can replicate those exact camera shots over and over again and then repeat these takes and then all of a sudden be able to composite in these different characters and elements into the scene. This is too freaking cool. This already tells me that he has a motorized camera rig. 
and then for the editors to go back in to composite this in this is just too freaking sick dude oh my goodness bro and now we're going into his mind all of a sudden but now we also got these super sick 2d elements and brought back in and some more parkour because why not you know let's let's just hit him with some parkour and some fully 360 camera transitions all right one thing you guys gotta note though take a look at that background because before we had this facing another direction it was like flipped upside down and this right now is telling me that they're probably using something like a green babe what's up you're just gonna come into the video and just and just pour your water oh my goodness babe you gotta check out this scene if you're coming in come on all right let's see take a look at this right look holy sh oh my goodness right i'm thinking that they're using maybe like unreal engine to create that 3d background that's perfectly attractive to the scene and then they're getting to play around with it even more with all these camera movements oh my goodness and then the performance you know they're just bringing in all the energy like they usually do a whole lot of dopeness yeah, oh my goodness, and we got some more match cuts. Yo, I gotta say, hands down, mad props to the editors who were able to mix this high energy, fast paced uh, editing and camera motions with some of these slower solo shots to where we can really get a sense of these characters. Oh my goodness, this is so freaking cool. <laughs> Yo, okay, I gotta pause this right here though. Out of this whole three minute video, like everything looks super clean composited, but all right, we, we gotta we gotta at least rag on this one scene right here because as you can tell, dude, the, what, what is going on here? We got a train and then we got this guy who's like in all black, but he's like not fully composited in there well. So we can clearly tell that this uh this background and, and whatnot is not really working out. Wait, that's a f pizza? Oh my uh, goodness. Some pizzas. And <laughs> where, where do they come up with this? I don't even know where they get these ideas from. And then bam, we're just hitting them again with some more high energy dance moves and super dope camera movements. And of course, some more match cuts, cause why not? Now if you guys have never done a match cut before, pretty much as long as you get the same sort of action or the same sort of camera, you can cut on it and keep that same momentum going between the two shots. So right now these editors are just going ham because we got these dance moves that are being match cutted on. We got the same elements being match cutted on, but then we have them in completely different sets and then completely different outfits which is just freaking insane like if you can imagine this means that the stray kids would have had to perform this dance so many freaking times in all these different outfits and then who knows maybe it's just in front of a green screen so that way we can get those set changes nice and easy but either way already this is like a huge amount of effort just to get these few more seconds of energy inside this music video I think uh, some American uh, video directors got to take some notes because I don't know why they're gonna come out with this like Nicki Minaj Coiler Ray video that looks like complete ass and it's just freaking you know overly sexualized uh, dances and, and costumes and not really any cool video editing techniques so take some notes all right this this video kills it <laughs> yo and then the same way that they're interacting with this camera this is too freaking sick yo oh my goodness and at the end it's like they're actually interacting with the sets so you know it's not like fully 3d or fully fake and then bam I gotta give him mad, mad props, yo. Keep fucking killing it, Bong Jo, with the music video directing it. And yeah, mad props, Stray Kids, for coming out with these dope ass performances and just really giving the camera your all. I hope to see more. <laughs> and if you guys wanna see more of the super dope videos and our reactions to them, as well as being able to learn how to break them down and see what techniques you can bring into your own directing, make sure that you check out some more of our videos on the channel by hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we got. Also, if you guys got another video that you want us to break down, make sure you leave a comment down below because, hey, we still read all the freaking comments, all right? Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace. Yo, am I am I sweating now from like checking out this video? I feel like I'm getting tired just watching them dance. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Yo, so dope. So